Hey everybody, Jason here with Island J. I was in the uh, New Hampshire liquor store today, uh, gonna pick up some coconut rum, and uh, I saw this, and it kind of grabbed my attention. Uh, not, not so much because it's kind of a cool looking bottle, but because uh, it was 50 something dollars for the bottle. And I'm like, you know, I've never really bought a good quality rum, or you know, expensive rum, so let's give it a shot. So what we have here is Richland Rum, and it's a single estate old Georgia rum. The spirit of Georgia since 1999. Anybody else remember 99? It seems like a long time ago. Anyway, it says it's handcrafted from the estate sourced sugar cane, copper pot distilled in small batches. And it's 43% uh, alcohol by volume, 86 proof. So, uh, well, let's give this a shot. Cheers. <clears throat> yeah, that, uh, that burns a little bit. <laughs> it's, it's pretty good. It's pretty, uh, it's got some nice flavor to it. It's uh, certainly potent. I think I drank a little bit too much than I should have, but uh, you know, it doesn't really have an aftertaste. You know, like spice rum, you, you taste a little bit later, or coconut rum or any flavored rum, you kind of taste it for a little bit after. The flavors kind of uh, disappear. So, oh, I like it as far as rums go. It's definitely got a little bit of uh, oomph, a little bit of love. It's smooth, yeah. But uh, yeah, I like it. But uh, if you like a rum without any aftertaste, so this might be an option for you. But uh, here we go again. It's uh, Richland's rum, right out of Georgia. So thanks for watching, everybody. Uh, post your comments. Uh, let me know if you've uh, seen this rum before, you've tried it, or any other rum suggestions. I'll buy it, try it, let you know what I think. Thanks for watching. Have not a worry in the world.